There are a couple different ways you can load with the 3180. Um, you can either use auto add um, or you can add um, buckets manually. So we'll just kind of go through those two options and sort of best practices for using those. So um, with auto add on, you'll notice that the uh, A plus symbol here is white and not grayed out. That means that auto add is on. And when that feature is on, um, if you lift a bucket through the way zone, um, it basically just automatically adds it. You don't have to push any buttons or do anything. Um, you just lift through the way zone and it adds it to your total. Um, and then to clear this out, you just simply pu uh, push the C button to clear that. Um, if you wanted to turn auto add off, um, you can also do that by uh, going to the wrench key and then scrolling to preferences. And then you'll see that auto add is currently on. If you tap that, it'll toggle it off. And then you'll notice that the A plus symbol is no longer white and it's sort of a gray color. Um, with it off, you can then go back out to the main screen. And when you lift, go to lift your weight, um, if you don't hit the plus key, it'll just time itself out. So weight discarded. Uh, so if we lift that again, and then we push the plus key in the bottom left, it'll add it to the weight. Again, just lift through the weigh zone, hit the plus key, and it adds it. Um, and then you can clear that out as well. Uh, so let's go back and turn auto add on. So we go to preferences, turn auto add on, and then you'll see that the A plus is now white. We'll go back out to the main screen and we'll lift it again. And the weight automatically adds itself. Um, if you lift a bucket and you actually need to subtract that bucket, um, there's this U-shaped arrow here in the bottom right corner. And if you press that, it'll um, undo your previous action or your previous lift. And then it'll go back to zero or whatever that previous weight was. So. Um, you know, let's say you had 16 tons in here and you needed to subtract that bucket. You subtract the bucket here and it'll do undo that and go back to eight. And you'll see that the bucket count is now to one instead of two. Um, so that's sort of the basics of weighing.